Hello, everyone. Today I'm with UCLA Core at Commit Carson Gordon. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, anytime. I'll start with my first question. How old were you when you started playing football? Five years old, flag football and uh, FBYFL, Fort Benny Football League. I was five. So you started really young. <laughs> really, really young. How do you feel knowing your high school fo football career is finished? It was it was awesome. Like It was a crazy feeling. Only because we went out on top, honestly. You know, if it was any other way, it would definitely feel bad, but... I'm still missing it. I mean, I still miss those practices, and they were still, they were only, like, a couple months ago, you know? So it's just a feeling you won't ever get again, even in college football. Like, nothing's, nothing's like high school football, man. I'm thankful for it. Yeah, not like the guys that, you know, you, like, grew up with, you know, like, being around at school, like, it's different than college football playing together with them. Right. Well, like you said, getting to go out on top and be more of a sour feeling if you lost it in the playoff. Yeah, that's all I got asked for, man. What was it like playing high school football in Texas? It was awesome. I mean, like 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 they say, man, it's a cliche, but everything's truly bigger in Texas, honestly. I think football is the same way. Like, it was just the greatest experience. Like, everybody has such big pride for their team, so they always cheer. The, fan the stands are always packed, and it's just an awesome environment always. And it's truly, like, the closest thing to college football that you could get in the nation. That's what I think. But everything's okay. bigger in Texas. Those Friday night lights are crazy, you bet. They're just different, that's all you could say. What was it like to be Gatorade Texas track and field player of the year? That was awesome. I mean, I remember hopping out of bed. They sent me the email that I wanted early in the morning. So I hopped out of bed, went screen, told my parents I wanted. So that was an awesome feeling. Like I guess that's a prestigious reward, you know. Everybody knows Gatorade. I mean, that's just a staple brand now. So just to have that title behind my name, it's just awesome. I'm blessed for it. Yeah, I bet that was crazy. And, like, in Texas, no less, where, like, all the sports, super competitive. It's such a big state, so many athletes. And to be, you know, Gatorade player of the year is crazy. Definitely crazy. Can you talk about you being the number one triple jumper in the U.S.? Oh, yeah, triple jumping. Got to love it. I mean, it's such a hard sport. It's a small sport, but – you love it, man. You got to fall in love with the process, you know. And, and and I had a really good year last year. If you've seen, I didn't get beat any times, thankfully. And hopefully I can continue that this year. But I can really just attest that all to my team. I mean, I just trust the people that, you know, pour into me, trainers, recover people, most of massage therapists, things like that. But it's just all – it's a community effort, you know. And I'm just blessed to have those people around me. And we got it done last year. And hopefully we can do it again this year. Yeah, keep keep it up, you know, keep improving break even more and get the record even higher all right that's the goal you know it are you gonna do that ucla yes yes chip kelly's already good with it so we're all good doing both that's good yeah, and i saw his quote too where he was talking about how he wants his guys to run track exactly that's why it's my head coach man so yeah so that works out for you already set perfectly how did you start into that Oh, my dad did it in high school. He was pretty good, honestly. So when I got the chance to do it in seventh grade, I started. And I kind of was already separated from the pack. So once I got with a trainer and things like that, I just kind of kept rising and rising. And you see how it turned out. Yeah, so you kind of already had that natural ability. And then once you like really put the, like got that training, you're able to take it to the next level. Pretty much, yeah. How would you say your track and field skills help with football? They help a lot, honestly. I mean, a lot of stuff translates to the field. You know, there's explosiveness, speed, of course. That's the name of the game, speed. So that translates in that. But just the outside aspects of it, honestly, like taking care of your body and just making sure you get a full night's sleep and good nutrition, things like that, yada, yada. Because if you don't energize yourself properly in track, you will feel it. Like you'll pull up or mess a muscle up or you'll cramp most of all. So it just helps me prepare for the football field even more and just be really tight and hone in on the details. So it really helps you because you got to take extra good care of your body and make sure what, like you said, what you're putting in, everything, the rest, or recovery is important. Definitely. That's the name of the game now, so got to be a master of it. Yeah, like Tom Brady, you get all the stuff that he does. Literally, a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm just trying to get like that. <laughs> what made you pick UCLA? Honestly, it's just different. Um, it's it's called Westwood, the suburb that UCLA is in. Yeah, so it's just different. Westwood is different. I mean, it, it truly has everything you can ask for from academics 
to campus life, to athletics, of course, and just the holistic aspect of it. Like I can go to LA and truly brand myself in one of the biggest city, cities in the world. So it's just a perfect spot for me. And, 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 and I was blessed to be able to be offered by them and accept the offer. And, and I'm just blessed to be in this opportunity, honestly. Yeah, like you said, they got everything from the academics, like, like the most applied to the university. Yes, the country. Yeah, crazy. And then, like you said, Wes was super nice, got everything LA, the number two marketing, like media, and be only behind New York. And then, like right. you said, just like the historical stuff, like you get to play at the Rose Bowl every Saturday. Different. It's just different. Can't get that anywhere else. Right. What do you think it would be like playing for Chip Kelly, who is Coach Corax, like Marcus Mariota and DTR? I think it would be awesome, honestly. I mean, I play just like those guys. I'm a dual third quarterback, so I think I'll truly fit into the system and I'll learn post-style things that help translate to the NFL level because Chip's been there. You know, he's been all around the world, been uh, all around the country, really, just coaching in the league and two stints in college and things like that. But I feel like I'll truly develop under his, his skill set in terms of coaching and, and I'm blessed to have him as my head coach, and I'm excited to get to work. Yeah, you get – like you said, you kind of play like those quarterbacks, and that's it really his offense does really well with dual threat quarterbacks like you were talking about. He's got lots of experience, like you said, like 49ers, Eagles, Oregon, now UCLA. He just has a lot of experience. Yeah, I'm just trying to soak up everything, be a sponge, and learn all I can each and every day. Yeah, and you look at like what he did with DTR from like his freshman year – the, like the records that he broke at UCLA, right? It's different. So, so I can't wait to get in that system and develop under him. And sky's the limit, man. Yep. What do you think it'll be like being a part of the first ever UCLA Big Ten team? It'll be a unique experience, I would say, because we're gonna rack up so many flying miles. I mean, we gotta fly to. I think we go to Penn State. I think we go to LSU. So that's just all parts of the country, you know. So I think it's going to be different. There's going to be something to adjust to. But by the time I get in my second, third, fourth year, we're going to be used to it. And uh, it's only up from here. I mean, like, we'll get the hard year out the way, and then we'll be used to the conference by then. And we'll be rolling. Yeah, like you said, it'll be different at first. Like, all the flying and the weather is going to be a lot different than, like, in California, obviously, with the snow. Oh, like this, yeah, it's going to be cold. Yeah, and then – but, you know, like you say, you'll get used to it. You know, then those those opponents aren't going to be new. You know, it should be the new new conference. Right. But, I mean, it's kind of sad to see the Pac-12 done. For real, yeah. When I, I watched the last Pac-12 game ever, the championship, and I was like, wow, man, that's the whole conference gone, technically. So, it was just awesome to watch history unfold, and, and, and we'll see what the future holds, man. Yeah, new, new beginnings in the Big Ten. When will you be arriving at UCLA? I'll graduate in May. I'm staying for the spring semester in high school. You know, just going to be a kid for a couple more months because, you know, as soon as I move in, it's all about business, you know. So I'll probably report June 1st or May 31st, May 31st, so around then. Yeah, so that's good. Like you said, be a kid for a couple more months because as soon as you get to college, it's all about football and school, you know. All business once we get to yeah. college. And this yeah, one, you get to do track season again. So Right. I get my last track season. So my last season as a kid, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Yeah. Take all the all the last times that you get. How would you describe yourself off the field? Off the field? Honestly, I'm kind of quiet. I'm I'm, true, I'm I'm loud on the field. So off the field, I have to save some energy, you know, from whenever I get in there. But just a quiet kid. I try to learn and soak up experience of everybody around me and just constantly be evolving and leveling up every day. You know, just in terms of being a quarterback and a student athlete, you have to be able to learn and admit when you're wrong and things like that. So I'm, I feel like I'm an expert in that, just admitting when I'm wrong and just stacking bricks every day and just getting better and learning from my peers and things like that. But yeah, I'm, I, stick, I stick to myself really quiet. I just try to learn all I can. Yeah, that's an important thing because every day you can learn something new. And like you said, like on the field, you obviously got to be loud because you're the quarterback, so you're the leader out there. Exactly. You got it. Then the last question I was for fun. You get to take any three NFL players to dinner. It can be past or present. Who are you oh. taking? Ooh. 
Probably, let's see. It's a good question. Probably Pat, Pat Mahomes. Then probably Randall Cunningham. All the way back, throwing it back to the days. And probably Tom, Pat, Tom Brady, and, and Randall Cunningham. Definitely a good blend of quarterbacks, all different styles and stuff. All played in different eras, you know, because Pat, Pat just played for a long time. And, and Tom Brady's done, and, you know, Randall Cunningham's been done. But, yeah, that would be my three for sure. Yeah, that would be a great damn for sure. Actually, you got, like, Randall Cunningham, who's definitely the most cool threat out of all of them. And then Mahomes, who's got a great arm but can still extend the plays. And then Tom Brady, who's clutch, is the best quarterback of all time. So Yeah, I think he is. He's, he just has that different mindset, that competitive mindset, and that drive. So I definitely like to pick his brain on all his experiences in his 20-something years. Yeah. <laughs> Seven Super Bowls. Yeah, yeah, it's a different experience. So, yeah, that'll be my dinner. Yeah, that'd be a great dinner for sure. Lots of experience. Definitely. All right, thank you for taking the time to join me today. Yeah, for sure, man. Anytime, bro. Yeah, thank you.